The five ETFs we will explain today are SOXL, TQQQ, LABU, TECL, QLD. Please note that this analysis is based on the latest data and is subject to change. Investors should always do their own research before making any investment decisions. What technical factors should you consider when analyzing SOXL? Technical Signals and Analysis SOXL's 14-Day Relative Strength Index, RSI, value is 50 when the RSI is above 25 and below 50, it generally indicates that the stock is moderately bearish. This means that the securities price has been falling but has not yet reached oversold levels, typically considered an RSI reading of 25 or lower. The current stochastic oscillator of SOXL is 66%. When the stochastic oscillator stays between 50 and 80, it may indicate that the stock is experiencing a mild downtrend with some selling pressure. In this case, an oversold signal could indicate that a stock is reaching a potential buying opportunity. Trend Outlook The probability of SOXL share price rising is 50%. When the probability of rising is higher than 50%, it means that the stock has a higher chance of rising. If the probability of rising is lower than 50%, it means that the probability of falling is high. Combining multiple technical analysis indicators, SOXL has three bullish signals and three bearish signals. SOXL short-term support level is 34. If it falls below 34 during the session, it will have a chance to test 31.6. SOXL short-term resistance level is 45.2. If it breaks through 45.2 during the session, it will look up to 48. How is TQQQ performed according to technical data? Technical signals and analysis. TQQQ's 14-day relative strength index, RSI, Value was 47 when the RSI is above 25 and below 50, it generally indicates that the stock is moderately bearish. This means that the securities price has been falling but has not yet reached oversold levels, typically considered an RSI reading of 25 or lower. The current stochastic oscillator of TQQQ is 82%. When the stochastic oscillator rises above the 80 level, it is usually considered overbought, indicating that the stock may be due for a price pullback or pullback. An overbought condition occurs when a stock's price rises too fast and too high in a short period of time and can be a sign that buying pressure has exhausted. Trend Outlook TQQQ has a 49% probability of rising stock price. When the probability of rising is lower than 50%, it means that the probability of falling is relatively high. If the probability of rising is higher than 50%, it means that the probability of stock rising is relatively high. Combining multiple technical analysis indicators, TQQQ has four bullish signals and four bearish signals. TQQQ's short-term support level is 51.5. If it falls below 51.5 during the session, it will have a chance to test 48.2. TQQQ's short-term resistance level is 59.3. If it breaks through 59.3 during the session, it will look up to 62.3. Is LABU trading above or below its moving averages? Technical Signals and Analysis LABU's 14-Day Relative Strength Index, RSI, Value was 34 when the RSI is above 25 and below 50, it generally indicates that the stock is moderately bearish. This means that the securities price has been falling but has not yet reached oversold levels, typically considered an RSI reading of 25 or lower. The current stochastic oscillator of LABU is 49%. It indicates that the stock is experiencing a strong downtrend and strong selling pressure. In this case, an oversold signal may indicate that a stock is hitting a temporary bottom, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the trend will reverse immediately. Trend Outlook 
LABU has a 44% probability of rising stock price. When the probability of rising is lower than 50%, it means that the probability of falling is relatively high. If the probability of rising is higher than 50%, it means that the probability of stock rising is relatively high. Combining multiple technical analysis indicators, LABU has three bullish signals and four bearish signals. LABU's short-term support level is 78.9. If it falls below 78.9 during the session, it will have a chance to test 70.6. LABU's short-term resistance level is 98.9. If it breaks through 98.9 during the session, it will look up to 119. Is TECL trading above or below its moving averages? Technical Signals and Analysis TECL's 14-Day Relative Strength Index, RSI, value is 44 when the RSI is above 25 and below 50. It generally indicates that the stock is moderately bearish. This means that the securities price has been falling but has not yet reached oversold levels, typically considered an RSI reading of 25 or lower. The current stochastic oscillator of TECL is 75%. When the stochastic oscillator stays between 50 and 80, it may indicate that the stock is experiencing a mild downtrend with some selling pressure. In this case, an oversold signal could indicate that a stock is reaching a potential buying opportunity. Trend Outlook The probability of TECL share price rising is 50%. When the probability of rising is higher than 50%, it means that the stock has a higher chance of rising. If the probability of rising is lower than 50%, it means that the probability of falling is high. Combining multiple technical analysis indicators, TECL has four bullish signals and three bearish signals. TECL's short-term support level is 64.6. If it falls below 64.6 during the session, it will have a chance to test 59.6. TECL's short-term resistance level is 75.8. If it breaks through 75.8 during the session, it will look up to 79.2. QLD Analyzing the U.S. Market with Technical Indicators Technical Signals and Analysis QLD's 14-Day Relative Strength Index, RSI, value was 48 when the RSI is above 25 and below 50. It generally indicates that the stock is moderately bearish. This means that the securities price has been falling but has not yet reached oversold levels, typically considered an RSI reading of 25 or lower. The current stochastic oscillator of QLD is 86%. When the stochastic oscillator rises above the 80 level, it is usually considered overbought, indicating that the stock may be due for a price pullback or pullback. An overbought condition occurs when a stock's price rises too fast and too high in a short period of time and can be a sign that buying pressure has exhausted. Trend Outlook The probability of QLD share price rising is 54%. When the probability of rising is higher than 50%, it means that the stock has a higher chance of rising. If the probability of rising is lower than 50%, it means that the probability of falling is high. Combining multiple technical analysis indicators, QLD has four bullish signals and four bearish signals. QLD's short-term support level is 78. If it falls below 78 during the session, it will have a chance to test 75. QLD's short-term resistance level is 85.6. If it breaks through 85.6 during the session, it will look up to 88.7.